For this breakdown, we're going to take a look at three plays out of the gun tackle over that you'll find out of the Philadelphia Eagles playbook. And I want to show this because there's two run plays involved and then there's one pass play that's going to work off the two run plays. And one of the things I like about the tackle over formation, especially if you're going to run from the gun formation, is you're going to have two tackles lined up on the right and then you're going to have the tight end who now replaces the left tackle in that position. So basically you're flip-flopping the tight end and the left tackle. So let's go ahead and take a look at it and we'll kind of go through this a little bit. And the two run plays that I want to go ahead and show here is the halfback counter and the zero one one trap. And as far as on defense, we'll just run this against this big dime cover two uh, man defense here. And let's just go ahead and run this. And I just kind of want to walk you through something why I like this particular play. Now, one of the things I like about it is the left guard's actually going to pull with this counter play, and he's going to go ahead and pull over towards the right. The running back's going to start off as if he's going to the left, and he's going to go back towards the right. A lot of times, as you run this play, you'll end up finding something where you can cut up inside and pick up some positive yardage. Now, if you want to run to the outside, that's fine. But just keep in mind that if you go to the inside, if you see it there, you can cut in and easily pick up some nice yardage, such as what you just saw there. And then we're going to go here and go back inside and pick up some more positive yards. Here we end up picking up about almost 20 yards there before he gets tackled. So nice play to run, especially if you got a fast running back, such as what the Eagles have. Now let's go into the next play that I want to go ahead and show you here. And this one is called Zero Trap. Now this particular play I also like, and you kind of get that same, that same type of thing as far as with the left guard. He's going to pull, and again, he's going to end up going towards the right side where you already have the left tackle and right tackle lined up. Keep in mind, all the strength of this particular play, or at least with this formation as far as running, is all to the right side. So it makes it real nice as far as trying to run this ball. You should end up finding somewhere where you can pick up some positive yards because you have all that extra lineman as far as blocking towards the right. And that's what I like about this. Here you go, same thing again here. He ends up going up there. Now one of the things you may saw there is that that defensive tackle actually shot through. Now that may happen, but a lot of times you can go right past them, such as what you're going to see again. Let's go and run it again. See right there? We ended up picking up positive yard. Actually, I should have cut it to the inside there, but you can see that we ended up picking up five yards. Let's go and run it one more time and let's see what kind of positive yards we can pick up here. Here we go. And so it's a nice play to run. And as you look, just much like the... The counter play, as I pointed out earlier, let's go ahead and instant replay real quick. You're going to see that you're going to get that left guard who's going to pull right there. And he's going to make that block on that uh, tackle who's never blocked at all. And then we end up going right up that gut and picking up some positive yards. So it's a nice play that you can run as far as with this particular formation. You actually got those two nice plays. Now, as far as the pass play that I want to show, it could be any pass play. I'm going to pick this one because the reason I'm about to pick this is because it's less hot routes that I've got to do. And this one's called Sprint Out Smash. If you want to, you can run any other pass play that you wanted to. But I'm going to run this particular one. And we're going to go ahead and run this against that same defense, cover two man. And then you can see on your screen, here's what it looks like. Now, one of the things I like to do with this particular play is to go ahead and hot route the running back on a swing route towards the left. Now, the idea of that is, is to get the defender that's covering him to go out that way and then leaving that middle of the field wide open where I can make that throw. You really cannot hot route the tight end. Now, I'm going to show it to you. You can hot route him, but if you hot route him, then you only got four guys blocking. So you got four, four, excuse me, you got five offensive line blocking, but keep in mind, there's no one blocking at that left tackle spot where the tight end's at. So you almost have to leave him in the pass block. So let's go ahead and go ahead and reset the play here and go ahead and put that running back back on that swing route. So keep that in mind. And if you don't, if you follow this, you're a lot better doing it the way I'm showing here than if you were to do anything with that tight end. Just leave the tight end to go ahead and pass block. And then as far as running this play, what you're looking for is to hope that receiver gets that inside position and you can make that throw there and complete it for a 10-yard gain. So your opponent can't always think that you're going to run it, and this way it will keep them a little bit more honest. And so that's what I like about this particular play. It gives me that nice throw out to the outside as far as to the backside where that split ends running that slant route. And then I just go ahead and do this. And then a lot of times I'll complete it where I can pick up that positive yardage. Now, there are some other plays that you can call from here as far as pass plays. I'll show you a couple other ones. I'm not going to get too much into them. But the other pass play that I did want to show for sure would be to go ahead and call the screen play. So you got the halfback slip screen that you could throw in as well to give yourself another option just in case you wanted to go ahead and run that one. You also have some of these other plays to fake screen will. And then you have the play action wide receiver screen and then also the play action bubble. So there's some other plays that you can call. But definitely the only other one I would say mix into that would be the halfback slip screen. So if you run that uh, sprint out where I'm talking about with the hot route of the uh, slot receiver where you hot route the running back on that swing route to the left and then you got that backside slant, that would be a nice play to run with it and then plus the halfback slip screen. So if you run 
those two pass plays along with the two run plays, then you should have a pretty nice little scheme that you can run from this particular formation, which again is called the gun tackle over, and you can find this one out of the Eagles playbook.